Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and today is Fun Friday. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I hope you've been successful this week. I hope you've been able to get some things done that you've been planning on doing for, for a long time or just recently, and that you're really progressing towards your goals and your dreams. And today, this morning, the horse that I'm riding right now is Higgins. Higgins is a 10-year-old quarter horse that came to me. Uh, he was real stiff in, in the bit. Uh, didn't know how to bend very well and would, didn't know how to continue keep his uh, motion going when he when you pick up on a rain and 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 then he was also spooky out on the trail and this morning we've been all over the place I got a little video of him out with a lot of traffic and commotion and he's just calm as ever and he hasn't spooked once out here so uh, you know preparing a horse really well in the arena the round pin in the arena both sensitizing and desensitizing makes a huge difference in their safety out here on the ur urban and rural trails. So I recommend that you make sure and get your horse trained well in the arena and the round pen and or arena before you come out here into the onto the urban and rural trails. And today for Fun Friday, well, I hope you guys are gonna ha have something planned fun for the weekend. I certainly do. My daughter who is six years old is gonna turn seven this weekend. And so we're gonna have a big birthday party for her tomorrow and really excited for her. And she's just such a such a blessing in our lives. And uh, I, I love her so much and we're I'm really excited to celebrate her seventh birthday. And so is she. And uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit, little joke before, before I go today. And this, uh, you know, my, my son, Jakey, he found a frog the other day. He found this little frog just out on our, our basketball court near near where we were parking he saw this little frog and Stacy initially thought it was just a piece of dirt it was a tiny little frog so he caught the frog and is feeding the frog and and uh and uh, we'll see where that goes from there but it got me thinking about frogs and um also there's been a lot of talk lately about following the science and making sure that we follow the scientists well there's a data data can vary or but and also the results can vary as well in the interpretation of those results and um so there was a there was a scientist and he he was studying frogs and he was studying the the correlation between frog legs and the distance a frog can hop so the scientist put the frog in in front of him and he said jump frog jump and the frog jumped and he jumped six feet and the scientist took out his notebook and said frog with four legs jumps six feet and then he cut off the front legs and he said jump frog jump and the frog jumped but he only jumped two feet and so the scientist pulled out his notepad and wrote down frog with two legs jumps two feet then he cut off the hind the back legs and the frog was on his belly and the, and the scientist said jump frog jump and the frog didn't move and the scientist said jump frog jump and he didn't move. And last time the scientist said, jump frog, jump. And the frog still didn't move. So the, the, the scientist pulled out his notepad and he wrote down, frog with no legs has lost his hearing. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys have a, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. I can't wait to see you next week. Until next time, be thankful, live with purpose, live with passion. And as always, stay safe in the saddle.